Let her some shine into our street here, okay? So we're using a toothbrush, which I'm sure most of you have used before, okay? Um, I've seen a lot of artists who take the toothbrush and then they kind of, you know, do this. They flick it like this around the page, but then it kind of goes everywhere where you don't want it to go. So here's how I do it. Um, I take my masking. Just the first third of the bristles go into the masking fluid. So you go in it at a diagonal. Can you see that? So it's just like just on the tip. Okay, so just the first third goes in there. Tap a couple times. Tap one more time on a paper towel. Hold it so that it's up against your wrist like this and the teeth are down facing your index finger, okay? And you control it, you can hold onto the handle or onto your wrist if you want. You're just gonna flick those first few bristles that you got the masking fluid on. Not the whole thing, okay? If you just do the first, and I'm picking up a little bit more, just doing exactly what I did before, okay? So just, um, Flick just those first two. Don't go too crazy with this. I've seen people have a little too much fun with this part. Because <laughs> we are going to flick a little bit more with the regular um, brush. Okay. That's it. Because this way we have these little spray dots which are more uniform. loading up a regular brush and then just I just tap it on my finger gently so they just drop onto the paper they're not shooting up here or anything so it's just straight down and this you have to be much more frugal with okay definitely don't do too much of this or it's just gonna look like a spotty leopard down here now if you got any into areas where you don't want them like into the tires or the black part under the car wait till it dries and you can just rub those off okay and leave the stuff where you want it down here Okay, so that was your first bonus video, using the toothbrush and your paintbrush to give a little shiny spatter to your city street. <laughs>